SpaceX's rapid pace has left NASA's Artemis team stunned after they recently toured Elon Musk's rocket production facilities in Boca Chica, Texas. After the loss of Ship 24 and the destruction of the launch pad and Starship's first test flight, many believe that we may not see another launch this year. However, SpaceX has defied expectations thanks to the crew at Starbase. Let's talk about all the upgrades SpaceX has made and what the future holds for the Starship. Starship's first test flight on April 20th serves as a reminder to NASA and its engineers. The event was eerily similar to what occurred last year at the Kennedy Space Center on Pad 39B. During a test, the Artemis moon rocket experienced an explosion that damaged part of the launch pad. Interestingly, it seems NASA was luckier compared to the SpaceX incident, mainly because the Artemis rocket is capable of producing only half the force generated by Starship's 33 Raptor engines. Furthermore, the NASA team enjoys a longer break between the two Artemis missions. During this time, they focus on tasks like repairs and improvements. However, Things are different for Elon Musk's employees at SpaceX. They are constantly under pressure to get ready for the next flight test, leaving them with less time to relax. This is a major compliment to the crew at Starbase who are working day and night to pioneer the future of space travel. Up until now, the orbital launch mount, which has been a weak point of the launch site, is now closer to being finished than ever before. The initial picture of the pad following the explosion was quite concerning. The launch mount had a large crater and the image also indicated that the SpaceX team would have challenging repair work ahead. Since then, the crater has been covered and strong reinforcements have been installed deep in the ground to make the soil stronger. Additionally, there's a new system in place called the Deluge System. This system is designed to enhance the ability of the launch site's infrastructure to withstand the powerful force generated by the Starship's thrust. On July 17th of this year, the initial water test of a key component of this system was demonstrated. This component, known as the stainless steel flame diverter plate, is crucial and is located beneath the orbital launch mount. The repair and upgrade work is also proceeding according to the plan, which seems to convey a strong and assured message in response to previous inaccurate predictions about the extended recovery time for the Starship pad. Following the incident on April 20th, there were many uncertainties about the duration required to fix the Starship pad. The general perception among the public was that the recovery time for the Starship pad might be considerably longer than that for Pad 39B, mainly due to the relatively minor damage sustained by the SLS's launch pad. There are two reasons for this disparity the difference in power between the two rockets, and the construction of their respective launch structures. A key factor is the flame trench, a structure built specifically for pads dealing with extremely powerful launches. Its purpose is to redirect the exhaust plume away from the launch pad during liftoff. NASA constructed a flame trench for their launch pad 39B at the Kennedy Space Center. However, SpaceX doesn't have a similar structure. In theory, the process of repairing and upgrading the Starship's launch site might extend beyond a year. Additionally, various tasks linked to the construction sites of other facilities need to be considered. Yet, the actual situation is rather distinctive. Despite NASA's mishap occurring earlier, SpaceX seems poised to match NASA's pace in terms of repair and upgrades. Given the dynamic nature of the evolving star base, it's possible that SpaceX could outpace its counterpart in a relatively brief time frame.
Amid the busy atmosphere at the launch complex, the construction site is also consistently active, never truly resting. In recent updates, the construction of the new Mega Bay at Starbase is in progress and is advanced to the fourth level. The installation of an elevator has also commenced. Impressively, in the past month, they managed to elevate Section 2 of the level, as noted by observers. It appears that SpaceX might be achieving an average of one section every two days, depending on favorable wind conditions. SpaceX stands out in terms of the time they invest in constructing rockets, surpassing others by a significant margin. Typically, the process of designing and building a rocket can span from 5 to 15 years, varying based on the specific type of rocket. To illustrate, the Saturn V, a super heavy lift launch vehicle, took five years from design to launch. In contrast, the SpaceX launch system took much longer. Its development commenced in 2011, yet the rocket had to wait about a decade before being assembled for the first time at the Kennedy Space Center. In comparison, the inaugural launch of the SLS was just last year as part of the Artemis I program. When looking at the years between 2016 and now, SpaceX has produced 31 Starship spacecraft and 8 boosters. This count excludes the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets. Throughout the past seven years, the CEO of SpaceX, Elon Musk, has consistently worked on improving the capabilities of their factories. This ongoing effort aims to reduce the time required for manufacturing rockets. Intriguingly, based on the latest reports, SpaceX is already getting ready for the third test flight of the Starship. This is happening even before the second test flight has taken place. Notably, it has been observed that ships 28 and 29 are positioned in the high bay area. Additionally, the payload ready portion of ship 24.2 has been finished and preparations are underway for both boosters 9 and 10 to facilitate the testing process. As they strive to meet the necessary rocket quantities, SpaceX's Starship production is being pushed to its limits. Looking ahead, Elon Musk envisions a future where SpaceX can launch 50 rockets every three days. This ambitious goal reflects his aspirations. It's worth noting that this isn't the initial instance where the NASA Artemis team has misjudged the potential of a relatively new private company like SpaceX. On two occasions, they visited Starbase and were genuinely impressed by the remarkable progress and achievements that Elon Musk and his team had accomplished. During their initial visit to Starbase a year ago, SpaceX significantly boosted NASA's confidence in their choice of a dependable partner for their missions. The Starbase launch site is a prime example of this transformation. In less than a year, Elon Musk turned a barren piece of land and a rudimentary launch structure into the most intricate launch facility in the history of space flight. This includes establishing the largest cryogenic tank farm ever constructed for a rocket. This stands in stark contrast to NASA's approach of having a single launch tower that took nearly a decade to build and cost them almost a billion dollars. The launch hardware of the Starship also drew NASA's interest. About six months later, the NASA team revisited Starbase and witnessed remarkable advancements in every aspect of Starship. The spacecraft appeared even more potent and filled with potential compared to their previous visit. However, the most astonishing aspect lies within the build site's tents, specifically the sizable Starship Raptor V2 engines. 
The NASA team mentioned that for the first time. They saw the Raptor 2 engines without the intricate components that characterized the earlier Christmas tree version. This simplified approach left them truly amazed by the progress made with the Raptor V2 engines. On that very same day, a photograph captured the NASA team standing in front of Booster 7 and the Megabase structure. In addition to this, Elon Musk shared an image showcasing the assembly of 33 integrated engines. Each of these engines is capable of generating a force of 230 metric tons. This impressive display took place in front of a group of guests who were present to witness the entire event. Since its establishment, SpaceX has been proactive in sharing a significant portion of its operations, including both successes and failures. This approach serves to offer a comprehensive view of their diverse capabilities. From the time of the last visit to the present, the Artemis team has frequently praised the SpaceX team for their incredibly rapid upgrades to infrastructure. They've also acknowledged Elon Musk's forward-thinking mindset that places them significantly ahead of the current time. As improvements on the Starship and its launch facilities continue, it remains to be seen if the craft can achieve orbit on its second test flight. What do you think? Can the Starship finally become the largest orbital launch platform in history? Please share your thoughts in the comments below.